Good morning. This morning I'm going to attempt to take the SQL uh, Transact SQL test again. I've logged into LinkedIn. I've scrolled down and I'm going to click on Take Skill Quiz. Going to Tools and Technologies. I'm going to scroll down and choose Transact SQL. Okay. And I'm going to click on Start. Ah, it allows me to choose. Hmm. In the command below, what role does the word inventory play? Inventory is um, a schema, and books is the database. It instructs the query engine to join the books table to the inventory table. It identifies that you want to see results from books that are currently in inventory. It instructs the query engine to find books table in the inventory database. It instructs the query engine to find books table in the inventory schema. So that's the one there. What does this statement do? Alter table appointments, add constraints, default length, default 30 for length. It modifies the appointments table to add a requirement that values stored in the default length field are 30 characters long. Modifies the appointment table to set a default value of 30 in the length field. It modifies the appointments table to add a requirement that the value stored in the default length field is 30. Modifies the appointments table to add and adds a new field called length. I would go with this first one. Okay, which is the best approach to update the last name and email address of a student with ID 56295? 56295, so that's Donette Figgins. Update students. Uh, Set last name to Smith. That's what you want. Hey? Um, email D Smith where R D equals. Um, yeah, I don't know why they put it in uh, inverted. Update student set last name Smith and email. Um, that set email. Okay, update student set last name Smith email where id is equals and update student set last name as smith and email d smith okay so they're basically asking update students set last name smith and email so the this this one and this one seem exactly the same um, I'll just go with this one because I'm happy with the ID without a um, uh, without a numeric. Um, on Wednesday, April 18th, what will this function display? Select day, get date, minus 1. I would go with 17. In a select statement, which clause should always be used with the top clause in order to predictably indicate which rows affected by top? I'm going to go with where. Though not currently a requirement, what will a future release of SQL Server require of all SQL statements? All statements must operate on a table of data. All statements must always be written in uppercase letters. All statements must end with a semicolon. All statements must include more than one variable. I'm going to go with all statements must end with a semicolon. The keywords and, in, like, and between belong all belong to which category? 
belongs to the logical operators. Given the games table picture pictured, which query generates the results shown? Okay, so this is the game um, game numbers. Um, okay, so you've got board by two, so that's a group by statement. Um, and number of players two and two. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to choose select game type max players count as number of games. Yeah, that's the one I'm going for. Order by game type. Next. Which query generates a username with a maximum of eight characters in lowercase from the student's first initial and last name? Select lower substring maximum of eight characters um, so that's first and last name all lowercase yeah select first name select lower first name and substring seven yeah I'm gonna go with these two because they're asking for a lowercase in both instances You need to remove all data from a table named orders. Which query completes the task in the least amount of time? This is truncate table orders. Which statement deletes a table named inventory from the products database? So, um, which table deletes? Okay, so use products delete table I don't see delete inventory drop table use products drop table inventory named inventory from the products table could use either one of these drop table products inventory let's just go with the first one what is an example of a DDL command in SQL okay I'm gonna go with drop review the create table statement below which option when placed in the blank space ensures that the book's ISBN column will not contain any duplicate values. Okay. Unique constraint. Um, constraint. Don't know if unique needs to come first or after. So let's try this one. Next. Which data type will most efficiently store a person's age in years? I'm going to go with tiny int. What is the result of an inner join between table 1 and table 2? Only records that have corresponding entries in table 1 and table 2 are displayed. All records from table 1 are displayed regardless of whether records um, in row table 2. No records from table 1 are ever displayed. Only records that have no corresponding records in table 1 or table 2 are displayed. Um, I would go with uh, all entries, corresponding entries. Ah, great. It says I, I managed to earn it this time. Perfect. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Goodbye.